So today I've um, installed this um, starter. Um, it's a um, direct online starter, a doll starter. It's all wired up to a fan just outside um, for a, a bit of an extractor fan. Now um, it's all wired up, I'm just going to set the overload. Now I can go off the um, information from the data plate, but instead I just use an ammeter and I get the fan um, running up. I measure the, the current with a little ammeter and then we'll set the overload. So if you'd like to come a little bit closer. Okay, so I know you do have to remember this is all live, um, but obviously you just have to be, be careful. So this is the, this little dial here is the overload. Now the rating for the overload is from nine amps to about 13 amps. So, um, so, so let, 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 let's, let's, let's start the machine up. So we just press start. As you can hear, the motor has now started up. So this is the, um, which one's the, that's the wire that feeds the motor. So we just put the ammeter around that. And straight away, it's reading about 10 amps. You can see that. And so all we need to do, we've got this dial. You can see this little arrow, arrow here. The arrow faces the, what we want it to be facing. So at the moment, that's reading nine, that's reading on 10 amps. So I would rather it be slightly more than 10 amps, about 10 amps, 10 and a half, 11 amps. Yeah, it's settled down to just under, just under 10 amps. So the overload here is set about 10 and a half amps. So that's how I set the overloads when we're working with um, any, any kind of motor or anything like that, rather than just going off the data plate. Um, obviously you have to be careful with some motors when they're under load because it's no good um, just doing this on a motor that's not under load. The fan is under load all the time, the extractor fan. So, so that's how I'll do that in, in this situation. Thank <laughs> you.